guys, it's Maddie from Guardy Goodies and welcome to the video tutorials for your Easter DIY kit. We are going to start out with our butterfly cookie and the purple icing and outline the first wing in purple and then add the yellow center and then take your cookie scribe and run it through so you get kind of a cool swirly effect. You can do this however you want. It can be super fun to play with the different marbly patterns. Then we're going to go ahead and dot the white center and another little purple dot. Do the same thing on the bottom wing. Notice we're doing these wings in the order that we are because we want them to dry before we do the wings that are right next to each other. And this just creates a little bit of dimension. If you have a tabletop fan, it's a great idea to set your cookies in front of this fan while they are drying between steps because what you'll notice is that we aren't going to do any cookies from start to finish um, in one sitting except for the egg cookie. So while we'll put that one aside for it to dry, we're going to get our bunny cookie and we're just going to flood the little ear because that's going to be the ear that is behind the front ear and set him aside. Up next is the tulip and you're going to create a little diamond in the center because we want to create the effect of the different petals of the tulip. Set that one aside to dry and then pull out your little duckling. We're going to outline him in yellow and then flood him in yellow as well immediately. Now if your icing is a little bit thicker, one trick is you can push the icing around using your dowel and you can also physically shake your cookie like you see here and that helps the icing settle. Go ahead and make a white dot for the eye and then find a little blue sprinkle in your sprinkle cup to add for the pupil of the eye. We're going to set him aside to dry for a second. And we're going to go to our egg. Now this is a little leopard print egg. We're going to work fairly quickly with this because we want to get the leopard print effect. And we wanna make sure that it all lies flat. So this is called the wet on wet technique. I'll flood first in white, and then I'm going to take the yellow and just make little squiggly dots kind of at random all throughout the egg. And then we'll go back right away with the purple icing and do a half kind of a horseshoe or a C outline of those yellow dots. And then anywhere that I found leftover white space, I just went ahead and added a little purple dot to fill it in. And then you get this super cute little leopard print egg effect. We'll set that one aside to dry. That one's actually done now. We're gonna go back to our tulip and create the next petal here. So it's had a little bit of time to dry, which allows us to get a little bit of dimension between the layers. Set that aside to dry, and we're gonna go back to our butterfly and just repeat the patterns that you saw before. So the reason that we do this, like I said, is you want them to dry in between these steps so you get that dimension between the layers. Royal icing takes about 10 minutes to just get a um, top layer dry and it takes eight hours to be fully dry. In this case, we're just waiting that 10 minutes between steps or so. And that's why we just kind of decorate the cookies out of order. Also, one thing you should note is this video is sped up times three. I go much slower in reality. This video is about five minutes, but in reality, it took me a total of about 15 minutes to make these cookies. Remember to take your time. Nothing is as quickly as it seems. So go ahead and repeat that. Notice any boo-boos that I get, I just fix with my scribe. We're gonna very carefully push him aside and pull back our little chick and add a little wing on top so we get that nice dimension of the wing and flood that and then set him aside as well. Then we're going to go back to our bunny and now that that ear has dried, it will look like a different ear. So you can see the difference between the two ears. It looks almost like it's overlapping a little bit because it's had some time to dry. And then find your little blue sprinkle again and push that into the wet icing and set it aside to dry before we do the tail. And finally, our last step for our tulip, the front petal here. You could even have these petals dry a little bit longer so we get some really nice puff and dimension between the layers, but you can still see the different tulip petals there. 
And then once that has dried for about 10 minutes, we're going to pipe our little tail. I like to dunk his tail into the sprinkles so you get the full coverage there, but you really wanna make sure the rest of the cookie is dry first. And then we're kind of gonna do the same thing with our butterfly stem. Again, we're making sure that most of the cookie is dry. We're gonna pipe the body of the butterfly and then sprinkle on the sprinkles to cover it up. And then a couple of them got stuck, so I just used my little cookie scribe to push them into the body very carefully without denting our beautiful icing. And that is our final cookie. There you have it. All five cookies from your kit. Now you have five more cookies, so feel free to play around with some designs of your own. Have fun, guys.